What's up guys, it's Braden with Tejas Creative and I am back with another tutorial and this one is specifically for you videographers out there who also shoot photos or you photographers who also shoot video and you're editing your videos and you've got your look nailed down you've got that specific LUT you use to kind of put that final touch of color, final vibe on your videos and you've always wondered how in the world can I get that same look on my photos in one click? Well luckily, Today, I'm gonna to show you how to convert your LUT into a Lightroom preset. So, let's dig in. All right, so here I am in my finder. I have found my LUT, my lookup table, dot cube file. And I'll pull up Premiere Pro real quick and I'll show you. This is the video I'm working with. I've got my LUT apply, the Tejas 01 LUT. I'll show you what it does. It just adds that last final touch of color. I can drive up the intensity if I want. But that what that's what adds the character to the video. And so I want that same character on my photos. So I'm gonna go to Lightroom. I'm gonna find a similar photo, same street, same time of day. And I, and I want to be able to add that same character to this photo. So how do I do that? Well, I need to first command E and open this photo in Photoshop. Boom, I've got that right here. So now what I need to do is I need to go to filter and then I need to open the camera raw filter. So you can either go filter and then drop down or you can just hit shift command A. That will open that uh, camera raw filter window. So then you go over here to the preset tab. We'll click that and you'll see this new page icon. Make sure you hold down alt button and then click that and that's going to open a create profile window. So now we want to name that preset. So let's just do LUT to Lightroom and we want to add that to a group. So let's add a new group, kind of a folder when you get into Lightroom. So let's just name that LUTs. That's the folder we need to look for when we get in Lightroom. Skip all this, nobody cares about all this. Now we go to color lookup table. Lookup table is a LUT, L-U-T, lookup table. Hit that, it's gonna ask us to find the LUT we wanna apply, Tejas Cube file right there. So we're gonna hit okay here. And then once I hit okay, watch what happens. Absolutely nothing happens on Photoshop, but it does do something in the back end. So what we have to do now, it's not gonna show up in Lightroom. Nothing's gonna happen in Lightroom. Nothing has changed, but we have to quit it. So Command Q, and then I'm gonna pull it back up again. Give it a second to load up, and we'll find that photo real quick. Beautiful, perfect. But you can see nothing has shown up in the presets. Where did this thing go? Well, I lied to you a little bit, a little bit of clickbait. I'm actually not creating a Lightroom preset. I'm creating a Lightroom profile and you can actually find those over here on the right side. Click this icon. And what you'll see is that same folder, that LUTs folder we created has that LUT. And what I love about profiles as opposed to a preset is I can actually dial down the intensity just like I can in Premiere. So if I go up here, I can dial down this intensity, right? I can do the same exact thing with a profile. I can dial that down close out of that and then I can edit the highlights shadows and just really dial this in to get it looking like I mean it already looks I mean pretty close honestly so but you look over here how can I get that to be an actual preset well you go over here create preset actually let's reset all this clear all those sliders there it is close so now all the sliders are neutral. You just have the cube, the, the LUT. So create preset. Let's title this LUT to Lightroom presets. And let's create a new group called LUTs here. Create. So now I can just add all those LUTs right there. So if I reset this, one click, the LUT is added and I can adjust the intensity of that LUT and also edit all the sliders underneath it because they're all neutral. So S-curve, whatever you want, there it is. One click turning your LUT into a one click Lightroom preset so that you can get your videos and your photos to look more consistent. 
Uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead, like the video, hit the subscribe button, stay up to date, and uh, follow us on social media, Instagram, Teos Creative. We'd love to connect with you, answer any questions you have. Um, so yeah, that's it for here. That's it for now. And we'll see you guys next time.